My dad was uh, uh, also an archer and he shot internationally when he was younger. And then I was born, he started shooting a little bit and he took me down to the range. And then I think I just fell in love. My, the coach down in the club was like recurve or compound. And then compound looked really cool. And I saw all the guys down at the range shoot really good with it. So I thought shooting good is fun. So <laughs> why not compound? Having Martin Damsbo as a coach also helped me a lot. Yep. He he's the big reason why I'm shooting internationally today and helping all the youth shooters in Denmark is definitely very important for the Danish Federation. I think just like shooting with him is pretty inspiring. Just he's been doing it for so many years and he's the one that's shot shot the most World Cups. So just following him around it, just fun being around him. For fun, I just enjoy life and I play some video games sometimes. I play virtual reality a lot, uh, which is like some glasses you take on and it takes you to a, a whole nother like computer world and you can pretty much do anything you want to. So yeah, there's really no limitations to that, uh, which I like. Sometimes when you're in a very stressful situation and those goggles, you can really get that advantage um, if you just stay composed and don't do dumb mistakes. Yeah, small mistakes uh, means a lot in, in sport and then also video games. It went super fast last season. I think over the lockdown period, I just trained so hard and shot so many arrows because I, I didn't have other things to do. I feel like if I shoot this much, results have to come at some point. I finished fourth at World Cup final in the United States and also fourth at the World Championships in Yankton as well. Ten required to make it through to the semi-finals for Matthias Fullerton. And he's hit the 10, he's in to the World Championship semi-finals. That was pretty crazy and I think it was just such a big event so it was kind of overwhelming to shoot the eliminations and then Damsbo came to me and was like, now you're going to be on the big stage. And it is a 10, a beautiful... From day. the first match to the last match um, on the stage, uh, it became better and better and I shot higher and higher scores. So I just got more and more used to being there. Shooting against Chris, who I've always watched when I grew up. And then 148, 148. And then he shot, I, I could just hear how good of a shot it, it was. Oh my goodness. That is the arrow you want on a shooter. And I was like, it's gonna be a tough one, but I'll try my best. It's not quite, it's a very, very good shot though. Just, I mean, millimeters out. Put a really good X, which should win the most other shoot off. Once it's gone, it's gone, and you just have to deal with whatever outcome it has. That was his match. You, if you, if you win every time, you won't get better. So growing up having we had a lot of youth shooters that was shot shooting very close and I think that competition gave me like a blood on my tooth. When I stepped into the senior division, it was against Stefan and Damsbo with having to shoot at level with them. Mentally, I'm still <laughs> a kid that wants to have fun in archery, but also is growing up. Every shot is like a shoot off when you're on the big stage, so you just have to really just go back to basics and try as best as you can.